Hey guys, how are you? Thought I'd do something a little different. Just a video of the mods I had on my old NT07. I've had a couple of people ask me about it. So I thought I'd make a video on what exactly I had on it. All right, so let's get started. So the first mod I can show you guys that I had on it was a um, black radiator cover from RNG. I bought the bike with this cover. It also had a second radiator cover, which was this one here, silver one. But the reason I never used this silver one basically is because I had these side covers with it and these wouldn't go on if I had the silver one on so I used to just run this black one here all the time with these side covers also I had the RNG fender eliminator this came with the bike when I bought it also RNG rear axle sliders spindles whatever you want to call them these did come in handy when I used to lube the chain early but um one day I was riding and these actually fell out of the bike. I don't know how. Just when I got home one day I noticed they weren't on the bike anymore. So that's how I lost these. But they were good when they were on it. Also the front blinkers I had on the bike were Rizima. They were black ones I'm pretty sure. They weren't silver. These were the only ones I could find on eBay. So on the rear of the bike I never used to run rear blinkers. I used to run this integrated tail light which was um, pretty cheap and pretty cool. I liked it. I was a big fan, so if anyone... I don't think it's actually legal in Australia, but if you're thinking of getting one, just um, know that if police probably see it and they see you using your blinkers like this, I think it's like there's a minimum law. It has to be like a certain width between, um, between the stoplight itself for the indicator. So if you're in Australia and you're watching the video and you're thinking of getting this, it's uh it's good, but yeah, just it's not legal, just so you guys know. Also for a while I did have the standard handlebars, but a good friend of mine actually gave me a flat black uh set, which was um pretty good. It gave the bike a more aggressive feel, more uh length over the bike. I was I wasn't a massive fan of them at first when I first put it on, but I kind of got used to it and used to the feel more of the bars. Did make it a little less controllable for wheelies, I, f I found, but for cornering, it was a lot better for these bars. So if anyone's thinking of putting that, yeah, that's just my opinion. Oh, uh, and the mirrors. Everyone was always asking me what mirrors were on the bike. It was just a cheap pair I found on eBay that I put on. They were pretty good, pretty stylish looking, but the way you see them here in the picture, you can't really run them upright like that. Your hand, your hands and gloves just get in the way. You can't really, you can't really grab the levers. You know what I mean? When the mirrors are set up upright like that, so I used to either sit them to the side or sit them below. Just depended. I used to change it around. These were pretty. These were pretty good, but I did have a bad experience where I would constantly have to re-tighten the one on the right. What can you expect? It's just a cheap pair of mirrors, but it did get annoying. Also, these. These were for the standard mirrors. They were basically just a screw-in cap with the Yamaha logo, which was pretty cool. Just a little finishing touch on the top for anyone that um, has bar ends on their bike and thinking, like, when you when you see it, it's just tape, a screw just sitting on the top of the bike, and it, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't look doesn't look very good just sitting there. So these used to really finish it off when they were screwed in there. And here are the um, tank pads. These these were pretty good, but I found in the in the hot conditions. I don't know if it was the way I put it on or I'm not sure, but these would eventually start peeling off on me. And I just ended up removing them completely like they were no good. Don't really rate these. I wouldn't suggest them. The oggy knobs, crash sliders, protectors, whatever you want to call them. I don't think the ones on my bike were EvoTech. I can't remember what they were. They were plain from memory. I didn't have any riding on them, but these are definitely a good option for beginner riders or someone looking to stunt ride on the bike or anything like that, you know? If you're gonna risk tipping the bike or whatever, you know? These are pretty good. Also, the EvoTech rear pillion foot peg removal kit. I used to have these. These were pretty good. It just finished it off. This one here on the top of the picture, you can see that one was for the uh, rear brake reservoir to bolt up to. Uh, these were pretty good. It used to make the bike look a lot cleaner. They were easy to put on and off and easy to put the pillion pegs back on and off. They're quite expensive, but I don't know. It just depends how much money you want to throw at the bike, you know? And the windscreen for the bike, this thing was pretty good. I did take it off and went for a couple rides without it on. And I actually did notice that it did reflect a little bit of wind. So it actually wasn't 
too bad. I um, definitely worth twenty dollars. I would suggest it to anyone that doesn't have one on it. it. Plus, I just like the sharpness look of it. I try to go for like the stealthy look on the bike when I had it. I was pretty happy with this for twenty dollars. Yeah, I would definitely suggest this. And the levers, MT07 levers. I don't know if I'd really suggest this. They were good, but um, if you're gonna get them, just make sure you get a half decent pair. The ones I had on mine were just a cheap set and they weren't the best. Like I ended up, I think I ended up going back to like my original clutch lever or something in the end because I just, I just wasn't a fan of them, the way they felt. If you're gonna get a pair of these, probably just get an expensive pair or just not at all. The de-restriction plate for the um, throttle body. I'm pretty sure this was the first thing I put on the bike because mine was a, um, a Lambs approved. It wasn't the HO. It was a burn illegal bike, so I had to. Basically all it does is just allows this flap here to open up further. This bit here hits here. This plate bolts up. Usually it's a lot longer here in this section. It comes out to maybe about here. Flap opens and probably stops about here. So it allows it to fully open, you know what I mean? Um, I will definitely suggest this, this um, improved the power of the bike by quite a bit. Another performance mod it did have was the Acro Povic exhaust system. There's a full system and also what I ended up doing was I ended up uh, exhaust wrapping it from the top all the way down just past the springs. And um, I don't think I've ever seen another MT-07 with the exhaust wrapped up, so I just kind of like to be a little bit different with it. Just um, extinguish it from the rest. So I would definitely suggest this exhaust. It sounded really good. Anyone that's um, that has the bike, I, I don't know if I would buy it brand new. You could probably get a second-hand one for a better price because some of the prices on here for them, like $900 here is pretty cheap, but some, oh no, there it is, $1,300. So some of them on here are like, 1600 bucks you know so i'd probably just get a second hand one if i was looking into getting them i'll show you guys a video of um what it sounded like DNA airbox. This was a pretty good mod. I don't think I really noticed it too too much in it. They were claiming I think like 20% extra power or something out of these, but I don't know. If you could get a KN or any of the others for the same price, I wouldn't wouldn't go out of your way to get one of these. It was pretty good. I'd probably go with the KN over this actually because I think they have a um, recleanable filter, the KN. I don't know, it's just up to you guys. It is what it is. And I know a lot of people are going to ask when they see this, oh, the the filter and the exhaust. There's a lot of people saying, "Oh, do you have to tune it or not?" And I'm not exactly sure because I had the exhaust and I put this filter in and I never tuned the bike but some people did tune it and they said it more, made more power after the tuning. A lot of people I asked they said they'd owned the bike for over a year running this filter and this exhaust and they never tuned the bike and they said you know it's still fine still running perfectly. I wouldn't worry about tuning it so I never tuned it but it, I don't know it's just up to you guys. Do your own research on it and you know. So that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and that's all the mods that I had on my bike.